YouTube pranks are some of the highest forms of intellectual content on the internet. And we're going to be doing the Islam versus Christianity terrorism social experiment. Terrorism social experiment. Allah Akbar. If the intellectual challenge you're trying to solve is uh, why the f are people doing this? I don't know. You just want one million. <laughs> Since the platform's launch all the way in 2005, it's remained a staple genre that consistently gets millions of views. And with over 500 hours of content being uploaded to YouTube every single minute, the platform's quite obviously getting saturated, with a lot of prank channels trying to become the next big thing. Today, I'm going to do a suicide by hanging prank on my mom. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure this would definitely make you popular with the general public. But since unaliving is a clearly light subject, that doesn't affect anyone whatsoever when you do it. Uh, I mean, you can uh, go, go ahead. As a sole heir and representative of the heliophobian media empire, I must interject at this point of the video the powerfully insist that our one man production team wholly condemns all of the livings of innocent civilians, no matter where they come from. And now we're done with the YouTube community guidelines spiel. It also shows a sheer effing disrespect to do a prank like that on your own mom. <laughs> Either way, my overarching point is that amid the escalating saturation of the genre, people within the pranking community, <laughs> words that I can't believe I've actually had to utter on this channel, are slowly levitating towards more extremes in order to get the views and attention they're craving for. Gone are the days of kissing pranks, now are the days of shitting pranks. It sounded better in my head, but uh, I think the pseudo rhyme still works. Tonight, we're going to take a look at the YouTuber Yannick, whose current sub count surpasses 1800 people. And even though objectively most content on YouTube is your stuff you can ignore, like, I, 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 I don't like Dream, he's actually a nightmare. I mean, yeah, sure, and one count, I can agree with you. Like this, I can never get off of my mattress. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh. Look, I know it's gone, but I still don't know why he decided to put that out. But on the other hand, you're not the target audience for stuff like that. And thus, unless there's like some really bad flaw in the content, it's not really worth anyone's time to try and pet YouTubers into appealing into what you specifically want. Like, you know, as home as a grown man, I'm not gonna bloody shout at Thomas and friends to get more complex storylines where the good guys don't always win. Especially because that show was already unnecessarily brutal at times. Eventually, even the fat controller gave up. We shall take away your rails, he said, and leave you here for always and always and always. They took up the old rails and built a wall in front of him so that Henry couldn't get out of the tunnel anymore. Sutton dirt from the tunnel had spoiled his lovely green paint and red stripes anyway. He wondered if he would ever be allowed to pull trains again. But I think he deserved his punishment. Don't you? No, I, I do not think he deserved it. What he wanted to do is literally protect his paint from the rain and you're like, uh, yeah, we're gonna lock him in a wall forever, Donald Trump style. I mean, he wishes he was executive producer on that show so he can pay all his civil court fines, but uh, that, that's besides the point. This guy is an exclusive case of someone who's definitely too terminally online and someone that I'm surprised YouTube hasn't gone and banned yet. Instead, just blocking his videos in his home country because Belgium's clearly a large part of the world's population. And free VPNs don't exist to get around any restrictions, do they? Saying that seconds after I showed you his channel bio, which literally tells you to get a free VPN. Anyway, back in July 2023, after dipping his feet into the water with a great prank video, asking people to keep my PS5, in which literally everyone rejected it, because for all they know, uh, he's a criminal, he's trying to pawn it off so he doesn't get in trouble. No, it's not because he's black. That was your assumption. <laughs> and only getting a grand total of 260 subscribers. Moved on to create the cinematic universe of Chef Surprise, or Surprise du Chef, in whatever language they speak in Brussels. And essentially what happens is that he quote unquote surprises people on the metro, as in the trains, with unique mixtures such as paint, paint, is this the only thing you can afford? I mean, to be fair, he couldn't even afford a full Nike or Adidas set, so uh, evidently yes. And with whatever concoction he goes and makes, he covers it up with foil and takes it on the train, which uh, I don't know how the security accept, because, you know, it looks like one of those makeshift bombs from like a few years ago that were appearing in the UK. And then an unsuspecting victim wins a surprise by getting paint poured over there and running away. And this guy gets a cameraman collaborator. Yeah, I get blocked from like 99% of the Twitter communities I used to interact with and then get treated like a literal Nazi for making a few videos on economic policy that people think are, oh no, uh, too right wing. And some Discord pervert. Which I realise isn't really a disqualifying term. But I mean, uh, they were up there doing stuff like this with 15 year olds. <laughs> Tries to put me in some left-wing cult to convert me. <laughs> but yellow stickman guy is a real bad guy here. 
I mean, luckily that guy is not in America because you know, not only would you probably get shot to death, but I'm pretty sure the police wouldn't even blink an eye to like prosecute you or anything because you could genuinely make an argument being like, a, oh, well, I don't know, he is probably gonna pull <laughs> sit on me. And I said, isn't that good? Unless you take it all really. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Nothing. I, I would never promote uh, drug use on this channel. All I have is this bloody ring light and green screen in my room, which I don't know why I have because anonymity is cool. But anyway, with this being illegal and ultimately an thing to do, especially as these videos are clearly not staged because you know, even if a guy agreed to it, the train company definitely didn't. Uh, actually, speaking of that, the train company, upon seeing this video, the first one in this series, even though it's titled the second for some reason, made a comment a few months later on the 5th of October 2012. Yes, sir. Yeah. You are aware of the videos you are filming in our transport system and posting on social media. Your behavior is unacceptable. You are seriously damaging the physical integrity of a person. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Is the translation system bugging or is quote unquote physical integrity an actual phrase people use? Yeah, next time I go and break someone's arm at a boxing fight, you know, I'm so sorry for uh, damaging your uh, physical integrity. I will note though that the chance of me being taken out by a twig is higher than me knocking out any single person in a boxing match. You are seriously damaging the physical integrity of our passengers as well as our infrastructure and contravening transport regulations. Moreover, prior authorization is needed to film and broadcast images taken in our stations and vehicles. As if you'd give permission for this. Please be aware that your actions have been brought to the attention of the authorities and that you are liable for prosecution and compensation from the STIB. Brussels Inter Transport Company, who runs a public transport in Brussels. And your victims. We hope this warning will lead to you stopping your degrading practices immediately. What if I might be degraded? <laughs> But evidently, considering he's made like five more videos since within this series, I don't really think he heeded that warning. And on the 16th of October, the train company said they were going to file legal action against him, even though I'm surprised they even gave him leeway in the first place, you know, and just report him rather than just sitting there begging. Ah, oh, please don't pour paint and feces on people. Like it's low-key pathetic. And as you're about to see in a minute, anyone who's doing this stuff in the first place to get views won't be deterred by YouTube comments telling them to stop. On the 28th of November 2023, the sixth episode of Sh Chef Surprise, well, at least that's what it's titled, premiered on the Yannick channel with a grand opening, the second to last Chef Surprise before 2024. You really show it off with that portrait quality and default font. I mean, it worked out, it got 146k views and 9,000 dislikes, but we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that. And this one is the worst yet because, you know, he goes to the train tracks and of course pulls paint, this time it's grey, alongside a litre of salad oil, two litres of blonde or water, and mixes it. Oh, okay, this surely can't be that bad. Obviously in the context of uh, having unwanted stuff poured over you. And then a uh, dog feces. Oh, oh, of course. Go visit with leaves. Oh, I genuinely feel sick. And voila! Again, I'm surprised like no one chases the cameraman or anything, especially when the train is moving. Like the bitch will have like nowhere to go and you know, if he dies on the tracks, would you really care? Obviously, this caused a lot of outrage, ultimately concluding with a 22-year-old man. Yeah, apparently this is a grown man behaviour. Being arrested on the 2nd of January. Great start to the new year. After both the train company and the man in the video complained to the police as he should. A spokesperson to the police related was that videos of the events were posted on social media with the aim of getting as many likes as possible. And I am really glad that the police actually explained to us what motives people have for posting content publicly. Definitely not views. That is definitely not why the video is public. Thank you so much, police. Taxpayer money goes to the greatest intelligent people. Uh. Either way, he confessed to assault and battery. Unfortunately, not a breach of the Geneva Convention. <laughs> Which I fully support. Uh, people in blue, please get in for biological terrorism. As well as damage to property and... Uh, uh, are we meant to be proud? Like, the guy all uploaded it to his own channel. I don't see what he has to hide at this point. Or even if he did want to, like, the, the video contents all over the internet on commentary channels, etc, etc. And speaking of him having no remorse, I bring up all of this just to reveal that, you know, uh, he's gone and done it again after he was released. Despite being held for at least two weeks. Uh, yeah, hi, it's uh, me from the future, like three weeks after I recorded the initial audio, even though like half the clips I recorded last night. But that's besides the point. Yeah, we're on a bloody incognito tab because God forbid I want any more of this guy's videos in my recommended. And yeah, as you can see on the 26th of February, he uploaded a new episode of this thing and uh, I don't really care at this point. Uh, well, well done on him for uh, updating the font so they're not bloody default anymore. And no man's adding soya sauce. What the f? Anyway, I'm pretty sure every 
everyone knows that this guy's a D-bag at this point, but you know uh, My main contention is right here because as you can see, th there was clearly a child right there. And he decided to target the child for... I, I don't know what reason. I don't know what beef he has with his random child. And even worse, I, I was like fully unaware except I was like scrolling through the quote-unquote recommended videos. Now he also has this prank that he uploaded on the 24th where he apparently decides to throw eggs at people for no reason on the street. And look, I don't want to give him any watch time. I'll just show you one example. Like, look, he's gone from pouring paint on people, which was uh, already bad enough. Now targeting children with a prank. And now assaulting people on the street. And uh, all YouTube decides to do is uh, geo-block his content in one country because of legal complaints instead of, you know, uh, deleting his channel. Like they've done to many other creators for way less. But let's not pretend YouTube always removes criminal creators from their website. And yeah, overall, that's why I decided to make this video. Ever since his arrest and all the coverage that happened back in January, he's just gotten like more and more worse. And I don't see the incentive for either him or YouTube to be keeping this content up because, you know, firstly for YouTube, it like worsens their reputation. Notwithstanding the fact that he already has a bad one. And secondly for this guy, uh, he, he's not going to be making any money off these videos, uh, presumably. I would hope YouTube is denying any sort of monetization attempts from him. And the further he keeps on doing this, like uh, after he got arrested, he just scaled it up even further less likely he'll be able to move on to like something else in life because it's clear at this point it's not a mistake and more and more attention will be dragged onto his actions and look before any of you say anything i'm just a small innocent boy with 75 subscribers so obviously everything i'm saying is probably not going to make a meaningful difference uh, unless you subscribe uh, th th that would be cool and the longer he keeps doing this for, the more and more likely his name will be well known. And he probably likes that part, but probably won't like the fact that someone, whether it's justified or not, is probably going to use violence on him at some point as some form of a vigilante justice. And personally, I, I already have a bad reputation. But let's just keep it as guy with bad upload schedule. You can't edit and has an annoying lisp. And next to that right down is stupid idiot. He thought a video of his quality, with broken transitions and everything, would have sufficed for a comeback after six months. <laughs>